that perhaps Jack and Ronald were not so innocent. The first bit of evidence that suggests the duo may have planned this is a series of insurance policies purchased before Christina's death. Jack took out two separate life insurance policies on himself and Christina before the marriage. Each 5,000 Canadian dollar policy conveniently contained a double indemnity clause, which would allow the beneficiary to collect twice the amount if the cause of death was accidental, a sum worth around 200,000 US dollars today. Strangely, Ronald was the beneficiary listed on both policies. Ronald had also taken out a 5,000 Canadian dollar insurance policy on his cottage that would later mysteriously burn down and named Jack as his beneficiary. It should be noted that Ronald had failed careers in both construction and insurance. Additionally, the inquest revealed that Jack had given his war gratuity, a payment to Canadian servicemen when discharged, to Ronald, and that Jack had removed all of his family from his will for reasons unknown. What are we talking about? Boys, I think you solved it. Solved. Boys got away with murder and got paid. $250,000 in today's money.